Hello everybody, this is Elisha Keating from WisdomSeekers.net and the .net is up and functional, it looks pretty decent, it's easier to deal with than before. This is my logo and feel free to reach me on YouTube of course, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Might be a little late getting up on Twitter but because I have, I'm going to be doing a uh, in a live if in five ten minutes, and so this is for Earth signs Taurus Virgo Capricorn for May 26, 2025, and this is the Ace of Cups, which is the beginning a new form of joy and happiness. Something new is coming into our lives. Uh, it's a new way of feeling happy and, and interested. And it has to do with the moon card. The moon card has two different meanings. Well, they're both the same meaning, but it depends what level of energy you're working from. The one level is the moon is secretive, it's hidden, and it has, or it has many shadows, and it has different areas that are, you haven't explored. The other uh, option is that you have explored a lot of these hidden ways and you have become wise because of it. And then when you hide away from yourself and don't, don't deal with that which you know, you're faced with, you're not wise. And why wisdom is not the same as intelligence. You can be very low IQ and be very wise and you can have a very high IQ and not have any wisdom at all. And I'm sure you've run into people like that many times. But this wisdom has to do with the male energy. It's a the emperor. And the male energy is all about it's shifting, it's changing. And right now it's going through a hard hard cell so to speak. It's but it is shifting and changing and becoming more what it truly is, not overly dominant, not totally submissive, at all submissive. Male energy shouldn't, male energy should not have submission in it, female energy should not have submission in it. But equality, but equality where you fit together, not where you try to be the same, because we're not. And nothing in this world will convince anybody that a man is the same as a woman not anybody who's dealt with the other opposite sex all right so we don't want the opposite sex to be the same we want them to be different because it creates a unity a togetherness a strength we have to allow that within each other and we have to make this decision and that's part of what the decision is is allowing people to be who they are on all ways of being who they are. Now part of the energy that's with us today is the Five of Cups, is frustration because you know there's something better and you want something better but you can't see that it's there. And maybe it's because of perspective, maybe it's because you choose not to see what other people have to offer. Maybe you choose to see things because society has said this is the way it's supposed to be. My peer group says it's supposed to be this way, but it doesn't feel right. And if it doesn't feel right, I can guarantee you it is not right. So look at your peer group, make a decision for yourself, and it might be that you have to let your peer group go because peer groups are not 100% right and you may not fit into that energy anymore. So let it go if it doesn't fit you. Allow new things to come into your life and they will be very beautiful. I promise you, you look at the, drag the dragon, you look at the devil, you see beside it is the most beautiful white energy right there. The most beautiful white energy you've ever seen. Well, I'm sure you've seen other things that are beautiful. When you release your belief systems that everything that the society has for us, well, I've got to follow it because society 
is that way and if I don't I'll be ostracized and this and I'll be that. If you leave them behind you'll find that there's another peer group who suits your energy much more which means Knight of Kawans has lots of new look at this you can see there down here down at the bottom you can see just vaguely there's a bunch of of buildings hidden in the sand that are coming to light so lots of new information coming into new ways of thinking new ideas and they're exciting and they're fun and they bring with you wisdom and also believe it or not this is a major arcana it's a major major healing card it's the hierophant with no new knowledge true knowledge i mean there's lies lots of knowledge out there is not true but with the with the hero found with you have new knowledge come in and you know it feels right your mind feel says it's right your heart says it feels right but it's different from what you've dealt with then you know it's right it may change over time as you as you go higher spiritually you may find that that energy no longer serves you but this energy will shift you into a high gear of healing. What's most important about it is it will give you highly evolved wisdom, not intelligence, wisdom. And believe it or not, you'll be very, very happy with this. Six of Wands. Six of Wands is, is about being putting in the effort reaping the rewards and being pleased with the reaping of those rewards that's the secret that you like it it feels good it's it's like when you finish grade 12 and you go up there and you get that little piece of paper that says hey you passed and after 12 or 13 years you're going oh my gosh it feels so good to get out of there well this is the kind of energy it is it's so good to get out of there so enjoy, love it, and, and, and accept it. it. Accept yourself into a new form of wisdom, new joys. Namaste, namasco, and I love you and you, I do love. Bye.